Ladies and gentlemen, Capcom has just announced that the great Ace Attorney Chronicles is coming in July, and if you're an Ace Attorney fan, you will be very pleased to hear that. Shu Takumi, who's kind of over all of the Ace Attorney games, he directed the first three, and he worked on pretty much all of them. Uh, he has a recorded message that Capcom just posted saying that the two games, The Great Ace Attorney 1 and 2, or as it's known in Japan, Dai Gaiokuten Saiban Naruhodo Ryanosuke no Boken, uh, or at least that's the first one, uh, there was two, two of them, two games that came out in Japan on the 3DS uh, and nowhere else, and they cited that localization would be a little too difficult, they're very rooted in Japanese culture, of course, that's kind of a weird excuse from the company that's had entire Ace Attorney episodes based in uh, Rakugo storytelling and Udon versus Soba noodles and, and, and stuff like that. So, you know, that's kind of funny, but it is very nice to know that they are actually localizing these games. We kind of knew they were. There's been a lot of rumors in the last few months. We've seen that these games have been listed or rated on in other countries, so... Uh, this was kind of leaked ahead of time, but it's still really exciting. Uh, I know a lot of fans have been wanting these games and have even been trying to do fan translations of them. So uh, to have them together in one package on the Nintendo Switch, PS4, and Steam is pretty great. And I just want to do a little breakdown of all the news that we got. This game's coming out on July 27th, which is the same day as Neo The World Ends With You. So I don't know what I'm going to do on that day, but I guess I'll figure it out once we get there. Uh, like I said, it's both games. Um, they're labeling these The Great Ace Attorney Adventures and Resolve. And, uh, you know, those those titles don't quite roll off the ton, but it's it's kind of a what everyone's been calling them in English anyway. So I, I think that's kind of cool. I think it's cool that they're kind of trying to preserve the, the original Japanese names. Uh, speaking of which, the characters keep their original Japanese names for the most part. Uh, Ryunosuke... Naruhodo is the main character, and I, I love that. I love that they're like, yeah, this is Phoenix Wright's ancestor. So that means Phoenix Wright is canonically Japanese uh, for once. <laughs> um, even if he eats hamburgers in quote unquote Los Angeles, they're not pretending this isn't Japan anymore. So that's nice. That's a, <laughs> that's a step in the right direction, if I do say so myself. Uh, there's also Susato Mikotoba, Kazuma Asogi, uh, and then Herlock Sholmes, which sounds pretty freaking ridiculous, but his name is actually Sherlock Holmes in Japanese, and I don't know, the Ace Attorney games have always had names like Frank Saw It and I'll Be Your Guide and uh, things like that, so it, it's not that big of a deal. So really cool that they're, they're keeping the original names for the most part. I also really like that in the trailer they listed the voice actors' names. Uh, Neo The World Ends With You just did that with their most recent trailer as well, um, so, which is really cool. I, I think there's a lot more recognition for voice actors in the video game industry, and uh, I'm all for it. I'm very excited about that. Uh, there's going to be a lot of special features and contents, it says. Um, specifically, it'll have the costumes that were available in the second game. Uh, it'll have the uh, escapades, is what they call it. Basically little skits that use the characters. Um, interestingly, they're also including some videos that were only premiered at certain events. And if you look at the website, these videos are actually in a really small frame and have the original Japanese on them. And I guess it's because those videos were already rendered and they don't have a way of uh, re-rendering them. So they're just going to subtitle them. So uh, that's kind of cool. Uh, probably the most significant change to these ports is the fact that you can do story only mode, which basically it'll make all the correct decisions for you as you tap through it, which I think is actually really cool because you can switch to it at any time. I do wonder if that means you won't get to see all the dialogue options. You know, some of the best dialogue in the Ace Attorney games comes when you present the wrong thing. Uh, I remember when Dual Destinies came out, I presented my badge to everyone because there was always unique dialogue for that particular game, and I loved that. So, But I think anyone will agree, there are a lot of really convoluted puzzles sometimes or answers that 
kind of feel like they came out of nowhere, and it'll be really nice that if you get stuck, you can just switch to story mode to get over the hurdle. It'll auto advance for you, and then you can go back and have all the agency of the normal mode. Um, so I think that's a positive change. I really like that. Uh, dual audio, of course, you can listen to the Japanese voice acting or the English voice acting. I think the English voice actors sound really great from what we've heard. Uh, I love that they have accents, um, whether those are Japanese or Victorian London English accents. Uh, I think that's great. It says that if you pre-order it, you get some bonus art and music. I'm glad that that's a pre-order bonus, that you don't have to buy that necessarily, but I, I guess it will become paid DLC later, uh, so we'll just have to see. They're also releasing this, uh, they're bundling it with the first Ace Attorney trilogy, so you can buy those together if you want, and uh, that's it. Now, MSRP has not been revealed. If you click pre-order it, it says it's not available yet. So we don't know how much it's gonna be. I, myself, am really hoping, I think, best case scenario, $30. And then if you buy them together, it's $50 or $60 or whatever. I think it's probably more likely that it's gonna be 50, dare I say it, even $60. It's two games that they sold at, you know, 30 or 35 each. So I wouldn't put it past them to release it at full retail. Uh, which would be unfortunate. I, I'm really hoping for a lower price, but that being said, it's great that we're getting these. I think everyone will agree. I, I'm excited to see what comes next, and I'm excited to see what Ace Attorney 7 will look like on the Nintendo Switch, hopefully, if they are indeed making that. But considering we didn't know if Layton vs. Phoenix would ever get localized, it's awesome that they're doing it. And it, it's, you know, kind of a niche audience, so good job Capcom, well done, good on you. Now, can you move that release date up a little bit? Because I really don't have time to play this and Neo The World Ends With You. So if you could just, just push those apart a little bit, just space them out, maybe a month earlier, that would be perfect.